What's up YouTube, back on our YouTube video and this is gonna be a banger video for you guys. It's a vlog, yes, it's been like years since I made my last vlog. So here we are with another vlog going to Mecca and Medina and Saudi Arabia. It's like a Islamic pilgrimage and as I go through my pilgrimage with my family, we'll be going through unique places, unique foods and from restaurants. It's gonna be epic, stay tuned to the vlog, so yeah. Alright hey guys, it's the next day. Uh, everything is set. All the baggages are also set. Uh, it's been a long night of packing all the suitcases. But hey, finally it's time to go. I'll we'll see you guys at the airport. Alright guys, so now I'm just waiting for the plane, as you see, maybe like 40 more minutes until the flight takes off. I've been here for the past an hour and a half and I'm just like bored, but uh, yeah, but this is where the trip really began. See you guys on the plane. Alright guys, so I'm in the plane, so we're gonna do a takeoff in just like 10 minutes or so. It's gonna be painful, 11 hours in a seat, uh, don't worry, I'll get through it. And as to the fight, I'll do like cinematics and maybe some food review, and yeah, so let's enjoy this flight. It's too cold, it's very hard, but, but it's okay, I'll use the cheesecake. Cheesecake's decent, not gonna lie. That cheesecake's really good. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, here we go. It just tastes like nothing. Literally nothing. God, this is my least favorite for a meal. The last with some mango juice. The 
mango juice is fire, I can tell you that. What I really like about the dish is mango juice and the beef curry. Other than that, everything else is just good. So I'm just gonna eat this meal and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so they gave this midnight snack right now. There's still five hours left in the flight and we've been through a lot. I'll tell you more about this flight as I land in Cairo, Egypt. And the last meal was okay. This was the cheesecake, the beef, curry, and the mango juice were really good. The others were like, eh. Now they have this black turkey mini sandwich, I guess. Let's give this a go. Actually, I've been falling into a lot of problems after um, we were in Cairo airport leaving here. I'll tell the whole story once I get into the hotel. But the problem is, is that the luggages, um, and say suitcases, we couldn't find them in the flight we were in. So we have to wait a few hours until the next flight. So 
That's crazy. So I have to wait for like three hours. I don't know what to do. This trip is not going how I expected it to be. Probably just gonna sleep and pass the time. And I'll catch you up at the hotel. just a dream. I can't believe my, this dream has turned into reality. How do I look? I look ugly. It is what it is, honestly, because after you do like this Umrah performance at Kaaba, you always have to like cut your hair bald, and this place is very busy. Everyone, every single boy or man have to cut their hair, so I got, I had to do it. So I'm gonna look pretty ugly for the rest of the vlog, but it is what it is, you know. Gotta follow and respect the religion. So uh, yeah, so I think today's day three of the vlog. Uh, probably gonna chill today and rest and maybe explore something tomorrow, but plans can change. So I'll probably do like a hotel tour and tell about the stories that happened yesterday. But other than that, uh, I think that's it for the day. Oh look, they're constructing, I guess, new uh, huge pillars. Uh, for the Kaaba, that's pretty unique. All right, I'll see you guys later. Not gonna lie, the weather is really nice. Even though it's the Middle East, it gets very hot in the afternoon, with like 95 degrees. But right now, the weather is very cool and pleasant, a little bit of wind. I love this weather. All right, guys, so I wanna show you a, a quick tour of the hotel Alright, here you go, come on in. I apologize if it's a little bit messy right now. They said this is a five-star hotel, but look, you should guys think. So this is the bathroom, very small bathroom. Okay, we come down, uh, we got, what, some, I guess, a mini closet, and then mini cabinets, yeah, yeah, mini kitchen. There's a fridge in there. Surprisingly, there is no microwave. I don't know how is that a five-star hotel, but okay. Here we got a bigger version of a closet. Full of clothes and all that. Yeah, yeah. And then we got this, I guess, bedroom. It's four bedrooms. I'm not sure the system in Saudi Arabia where I think each person gets their own bed. I think that's the system. But my most favorite part of the hotel is this view, like, wow! 
Yeah, this is like what, like, I guess gets my heart the most. You see the everything, the views, the mountains, other building, but especially the Mujid al Haram down there. It's just like a blessing, an opportunity. It's like this dream has turned into reality. If you, th I don't think this may be a five-star hotel. I give this like maybe a 3.5, but the view is the one that satisfies me the most. And that's what I feel happy of. I finished my prayer. Look how busy it is. Oh my god, can't wait to see what happens tomorrow for Zuma prayers. It's gonna be hella busy. Oh my god, walking on the super in the supermarkets, car homes, people everywhere. Just look at this place. Yeah. Kinda even though it's Mecca, it feels like I'm in Bangladesh or something. It's insane. Oh, is there so many similarities? Alright guys, so before I uh, move forward in this vlog, I just want to talk about what happened yesterday because yesterday was crazy, not just crazy, it went wild and it all started when, how do I say this, it all started when me and my family arrived in Egypt, somehow we were able to catch the flight from Cairo to Jeddah by just like a couple minutes at the margin. That was crazy. And not only that, the place was disgusting. Now, I wouldn't say like, no, not everything is disgusting. Like the bathroom was so disgusting. Like the water, there was so much water in the floor and the people there were kind of a bit aggressive over each other. I didn't, really didn't like that. And their looks, they looked like they're about to like take over everything. So I didn't feel safe. So then after from Cairo, we finally reached Jeddah. And then another thing happened. I like, as I said um, earlier in the vlog, I had to wait for like the suitcases. It took eight hours for the suitcases to come. That was, I was just sleeping and chilling the whole time, but it, it gave me a massive headache and yeah, it wasn't a good day yesterday. And then we had more problems with the ride problems. And then I guess I had troubles with the hotel reservations as well. It was probably one of the worst days of my entire life. And people here at Saudi, they're pretty nice, but sometimes they can get a little bit mean in their behavior, but you gotta respect this country, um, Islamic culture, and yeah, so the, basically the summary is that yesterday was wild. Even the, the driving is crazy here as well. But uh, yeah, that's what I really wanted to say. Uh, look at my head, oh my god. Hopefully this, my hair grows back to normal. Good morning, it's day number four of the vlog. I don't even understand how it's day four. I feel like this trip is going fast. But uh, I think today we're gonna go to prayer for a morning prayer. And then after that, I think we're going to the day of Afarat. Hopefully I can record some stuff and maybe teach you guys some important lessons. And then maybe go to Prophet Muhammad's house. Oh, maybe after the morning prayer, so we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so we just uh, finished uh, Fajr prayer, the morning prayers. Now we're gonna go to Prophet Muhammad's house, somewhere in that direction. And basically, this is the house where Prophet Muhammad was born. Can't wait to see the place out. And the quick geography, this whole entire place looks like there's that mountain range right there. So I guess as the years going on and on and on, uh, I guess it's getting more developed. And maybe when I come back here in the future, can't wait to see 
another huge change here. Okay, so we just arrived at Mohammed Salam's house. Uh, I'm pretty sure they remodeled the house and the place, his home, has been like modeled into a library now. I uh, really wish I could go inside and like take a tour of it. But I mean, at least it's a blessing to see this. And to me, it feels I feel really blessed being here, looking at every single attraction uh, that is really significant in Islam. So we're gonna keep walking down that way and see what we can find. All right, so I just realized uh, from the other side of Prophet Muhammad's house, we have Abu Jahil's house has been turned into a public restroom. That's uh, probably because as a sign of disrespect he did to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. I have a feeling like this was a place where he gave so much hate. That's why they made this toilet. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, I have no, nothing else to say. <laughs> I didn't know how many attractions are here. Are here. Well, behind me is the, I guess, where the, all this Zom Zom party comes from. Zam Zam. Zam Zam. <laughs> but I didn't want it to record in there for because it might be a little bit inappropriate and a lot of disrespect. So this is basically where like all the water comes from underground, hundreds and hundreds of meters deep, mysteriously from where it comes from. I guess it's Allah's power where magically this amazing refreshing water comes from. So yeah, so but the water is really soft and sensitive and it tastes delicious too. Alright, I have no idea where else we're gonna go next. Not gonna lie, I got like a whole bag of Zamzam water just got like I just robbed it. <laughs> but seriously the water tastes really really good. It's like a water of blessing from Allah. It's just so refreshing. I just wish I drank it for the entire life. Really didn't get to do much in the afternoon. It got so hot and so busy. So that's why I'm taking a night walk. And even though it's still nighttime, it's still busy. There's the clock tower. And the weather is very nice too. Not too hot, not too cold. It's like weather from heaven, Allah gave. I'm really loving, uh, I guess the trip is starting to get a little bit better. Recovering from the disadvantages from the trip we had. I guess the trip, starting of the trip. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so we're gonna see what we look pretty no good it's like literally in the middle of the desert so probably gonna get a ride with my family and we'll see what happens Okay guys, so I like that Jabal Tawir and this is the place where Prophet Muhammad had to, uh, he went away from Mecca on his way to Medina because he had many enemies with him. He went all the way up there and hid himself in a cave for a long period of time and this is where I guess a spider saved his life from his enemies trying to like beat him up and insult him. That is crazy. I'm not sure how 
how high that is it must be like over 2,000 3,000 feet but the history here makes my heart just melt on how much how suffer how the prophet suffered so much uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get up there but it's it's just a that's just crazy history so we're gonna continue and see uh, what else we're gonna explore okay guys so really couldn't get up to the mountain which is pretty sad uh, all they all disagreed so I kind of felt sad but right now we're in Mina there's like these white sheds all over the place this is part of the I guess main hodge but we're here for Umrah not for the main hodge but it's mandatory during the main hodge that people have to stay here for three nights and I think this is where Prophet Muhammad also stayed here for three nights on his journey back to Mecca or something this is where like Shaitan or like the devil was trying to like distract him and they were throwing stones at him I think it was like seven stones not sure about the history clearly probably gonna learn more about the place but it's crazy to see how much the Prophet really suffered so much on his way to Medina like the roads weren't like this how it is today 1500 years later back then there was like all mountains and mountains and mountains and prophet muhammad and his group had to travel up and down the mountains to medina that's crazy i don't think i'll be able to do something like that but learning the history is making me feel more proud as a better muslim so that's all I know for this place. Let's go on to the next place. All right, so we're at another place. It's called Jabal Ar Noor. So it's another mountain. This is where, this is where the Prophet uh, also spent some time of his life in a cave up there. And this is where the Quran was made from Jibrail and the angel of Gabriel. Um, I think it's something like I can't read, but then Allah gave him the power to read and the Quran was made all the way up there. I think it's like a good 4,000 feet. There's like a walkway that leads up to all the way to the top. It's a nice view, but I'm not sure if all my, I guess my family members agree to get up there. I'm down to get up there. It's just... So am uh, I. <laughs> maybe inshallah another day we might come back here during like the evening times and maybe get up there and yeah, I know it's a nice view and I think we get to go to one more place after this but we'll see all right so we're gonna take a little break it's like what 95 degrees out here right now we came out with this convenience store got some uh, mango juice right here it's called Cizo mango and fruit mix no sugar added and then we got some potato crackers brand. Uh, they said this is a really good company here. So hopefully this uh, tastes good. Got this open. Here we go, Bismillah. Yo, that actually tastes, that actually tastes really good. It doesn't taste like mango juice. It's like mango lassi right here. That's what they meant by a good company is actually a good company, not gonna lie. Then, oh man, I have to open this up. But, okay, so now we're at Al-Rahma Mountain. Um, this is, I think this was the place where Adam Salam and Hawa, this is where they were, I guess, introduced to this world. They got separated until centuries and centuries later, where Adam came up to this place right here and forgive, like trying to forgive Allah under the name of Muhammad. And this is where the place has been forgiven. I swear, there is so much history in the place of Mokka. And then right behind me, over there is the land as you can see right there is the land of Afra 
and basically what that is is after the world i guess ends or like end of the world happens this place remains and this is where like the day of judgment happens depending on the person's life if they did good or bad so that's pretty much the background of these places and i'm learning a lot about the religion of islam and these history is making me want to learn more so hopefully let's get up in the mountain and let's check out the view I mean up the Harahman mountain it's like so tiring exhausting especially when it's like almost a hundred degrees out here it's a good exercise I'll probably get to see a good view when I get up there see you guys up there yes it only took a few minutes to get up there that view looks sick those are the directions up there well at least I get to climb up something if not I couldn't climb up Jabal or Noor and al -Drawa. but after climbing this makes me a little bit better at least get to see a nice view and see a significant of his history I'm loving this Enjoy a little bit and then probably climb back down. Okay, guys, so basically, uh, after exploring all the places today, we went. I guess we really didn't do anything, just stayed in a hotel and just chilled all for the rest of the day. And I forgot to do food reviews, keep forgetting to do those. Um, we went to this restaurant after exploring all the places called Redan or something. And they were like this type of, like how do I explain this? It was like chicken with rice, with eggplant curry, and squash with goat curry. If I'll be honest with you, the food was just average and it was like one of the best food restaurants in all Mecca. For in my opinion, it was alright. Probably because it wasn't spicy enough. Yeah, that's why. And the food was a little bit dry. But, and then I went to this cafe under, in the supermarket here, under, at the bottom of the hotel. I tell you what, the mango milkshake was amazing it didn't feel like a milkshake it felt like a mango lassi of heaven all the flavors and all that it wasn't that sweet either it's like a hundred times better than starbucks that's crazy well that's pretty much the end of the day it's like midnight right now so i guess tomorrow we're leaving mecca and going to medina it's like a five hour drive so that's going to be a separate vlog because I, this vlog is too big and if I collect all the Medina clips, this vlog will be like an hour long. It's impossible. It's better to do a Mecca vlog and a Medina vlog just to keep stuff organized. Okay guys, so I got breakfast called Melyar Cafe and it's basically in the supermarket under like the Royal Clock Tower hotels and there's a lot of good stores down there so chose this one as for breakfast so here i got a cookies and cream they said is one of the i guess one of the best options they have and here i got spicy sharma sandwich so looks very fire uh bread is really soft let's give this a go Alright. How does it taste like? It's actually not bad. It's spicy, a blend of spices. Chicken is soft. Bread is soft. Amazing. So, it's actually a really not bad. Um, would have been better if you had like more spicy sauce and maybe some onions. Now let me give this another bite. Oh, there's actually cheese in the bread too. I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's good, especially for a light breakfast. I'm gonna try the cookies and cream milkshake. Let's try this out. Oh, 
I don't know how to say this one. It doesn't feel like it's cookies and cream. Kind of feels like it's like a mocha. Mocha. Let me see. It's like a mocha milkshake, honestly. But the milkshakes mm. from here are really good, though. Not gonna lie. Um, but they should actually make this cooking some cream, not mocha. But it's still pretty good, pretty decent. It is not that sweet either. I rate it like a 7 out of 10, but it's mocha, not cookies and cream. All right, so right now, after eating, we're gonna go to Medina and I'll probably just do some cinematics. So I'll see you guys there. I just cannot believe what kind of hotel I was living back in Mecca for two days. The room service was so trash. There were stuff all over the place. And this hotel was looking like it was 500 years old. They don't clean, clean this place. Allah, Allah. 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 Alright guys, so, um, having breakfast, want to do another food review from the Mill Yard Cafe again. I swear the food here is so good, probably the best cafe I've had in my entire life. The people there are very fine too. So, so this is called the uh, Fajita. This is what I got. Looking like good sandwich and like a maple milkshake right here. So, let's get the scope, Bismillah. Whoa, oh my God, tons of flavor. It's a bit spicy, but I like a little bit of spicy. I like it. The bread has amazing texture, it's soft, hard by the seeds. Inside is like, I guess, jalapenos, lettuce, I guess some minced chicken with some probably some, what type of sauce or whatever. It's good. It's so good. Mango milkshake. Oh <clears throat> my god. This is the best milkshake I had in my entire life. It's like, it doesn't even taste like a milkshake. I don't know what ingredient or whatever makes it look so good. It's amazing. I like it. I, I think it's Do you better. like it or love it? I love it actually. Better than the breakfast I did before. I don't know if it was yesterday or whatever. But this is really good. Yesterday you had Starbucks cake. <laughs> Yo, oh yeah, that was in Medina. That was kind of trash. But this is like way better. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And I just want to say a quick thing before I end this vlog. I just want to say that I hope to all my Muslim, I guess, subscribers. Hopefully, whenever you get the chance, Allah calls you, inshallah. You guys, like, go explore Mecca because it's wonderful. Because seeing the Kaaba in real life is way different than what I guess you see from online or pictures or videos or whatever. Because it literally melts, I guess, our hearts. And it just made me cry for joy on how wonderful the view was to see the Kaaba. Thinking it was a dream, but our dream turned into reality. So whenever, I guess, Allah calls you, go with your family. And it will be a fun trip, inshallah, for all my Muslim subscribers. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video or vlog.